Hello, hi, I'm Rob Cram, and today we're taking a look at Ark Survival Evolved on the Xbox One. Now, I've been playing it quite a bit, and um, unfortunately, I messed up in my last game after being clothed, having built a small little hut for myself, and um, attacking a Triceratops, and then getting my... Um, Home destroyed by said Triceratops. So I'm going to attempt again to build my character up. Now I have tweaked the game a bit in the options um, to be a little bit more forgiving. So I've got extra items I can gather. And this is uh, essentially the single player mode. Now basically, before we start, I have to state for the record, this is an Xbox One preview game, which means it's not completely finished and up to date. Uh, the developers will be adding more features and stuff to it for its full release next year in, um, I think, June 2016. And the game will also be coming to the PlayStation 4 with uh, PlayStation VR support as well, which is a, an interesting prospect. Um, the game has already been available on the PC for a while now. And um, yeah, so this is just the console version, which runs pretty smoothly. I mean, there's, a bit, there's been a bit of screen tearing on occasion. And you can see the sort of graphics quality isn't on par with the PC release but generally it's um, extremely playable so if you want to dive into this game and you can sort of play single player or join a server where there's lots of other human players where you can team up or um, go against other human tribes unfortunately I've jumped into the game where it's um, pitch black which is not a very good uh, starting point so really let's go into my menu here's my character that I've created and as you can see she's level 11 so the first port of call really is to start building some weapons and equipment so I can begin to start crafting items so obviously if you're familiar with games like Minecraft then um, it follows a similar kind of template. So let's grab some thatch. Oh, my knuckles. And as you can see there, you get damaged if you use your bare hands on items. Right, I should be able to make a stone pick. So I'm not sure how long it's going to take me now to get back to where I was um, for the sake of this video. Let's start by building some um, pants and a hat to keep me warm. Get those equipped. A nice cloth hat for my character. Some nice pants. Okay, so. Well, I've got this tool now which enables me to grab some stone and flint without damaging my hands and knuckles this time. I really need to get myself a torch um, because it's pitch black here. Let there be light. Ark, hey, that's better. At least we can now see what we're doing. So you'll notice there's lots of, um, well, not lots, but there's a number of dinosaurs wandering around. These are pretty passive creatures. Um, you can tame them and start riding them. But I haven't got to that kind of advanced level yet. Ah, 
Ah, finally, the daytime has arrived. Now, I have tweaked the parameters so that the night is pretty quick. There's one of the dinosaurs. Whoa. Level 3 male parasaur. Anyway. So, I should really start thinking about building my base of operations. A home of sorts. Luckily, I've upgraded my character enough to be able to build... little place to put it I think somewhere reasonably flat there will be very nice it's not very big is it so um I'm getting stomped on by the um local thugs um trying to see what I need for the foundation I need more thatch so that means going off to these trees here oh, look at you who invited you to the party so yeah the, the multiplier that I've added means I'm getting loads of items which really just speed up the process look at that and all the dinosaurs came to see what the commotion was all about this craft. I need at least three more of those. Okay. Oh. I've got to make sure I'm not going to block myself. That's two. I could have put that on a hotkey. To um, make it easier, but I'm only going to make four of these. It's no big deal. And I'll deal with that level up in a second. If you would kindly move your big behind out the way, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. So we now have the foundations for a nice property. Alright, let me um, level up first. So to level up, you just add your points to one of these um, attributes. I'm going to add it to melee damage. Um, yeah, melee damage. And then you see a list of stuff that you can create. It's determined by the amount of um, engram points that you earn. But I'll come back to that in a moment. I can do that at any time. What I'm trying to do at the moment now is to get these walls and my door frame. Well, I'll do the door frame first. And I'll do the... Um... Okay. So as you probably notice, you've got to take into consideration your hunger levels as well, your thirst. Right, now because I've already made these, I can now put that on there. For ease of building. I mean, the system's quite easy to use. It's not fiddly. Just place it in the the right place. I mean, I could have built it from the inside of the property. Like this. And I'm out of resources. But as you can see, the home is beginning to take shape nicely. So let's go and grab some more thatch. Knock down some more trees. I mean, you can actually knock down these trees with your bare knuckles. Quite an interesting. Yeah, plenty of thatch. Got to be mindful of my equipment not breaking as well. Right, so let me just grab more resources. Fiber is very useful for crafting items. 
Right. More walls required. I'll craft six of them at once. And grab some more goodies. Get some, oh, I'm moving pretty slowly, so I assume that I'm uh, becoming encumbered. Alright, so let's get this side of the wall fixed first. See, it's beginning to take shape nicely. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the beginnings of a peaceful abode. And there you have it. So obviously I need to think about getting more stuff. So I definitely need more thatch. Let's go get those trees. Timber! So basically changing the parameters in the options. This has meant um, saving a whole ton of time. I mean, it took me hours to build up my first house before it got destroyed. Uh, it was my own fault for attacking um, a dinosaur that I shouldn't have done. Right. Well, I'm out of... Um, what am I needing? I need more fiber and more wood. So yeah, great advice here. If you really want to um, speed up the process, then um, it's definitely worth paying attention to the sliders when you create your um, single player game and just tailoring them to, just to speed up the process. Um, it does become very disheartening. You know, you spend hours building up the character. You make a mistake or something happens. A dinosaur comes from nowhere. You get attacked and killed. And obviously you lose your stuff. Um, you wouldn't lose your house. But obviously in my situation, I angered the beast. And the beast decided to let rip on my property. Um, unforgiving and um, even though I died and respawned back in he was still attacking my building um, and he wasn't going to finish until he destroyed the whole thing so that's a mistake um, that I would not be making a second time god damn it I right, craft five of those so hopefully now I should have enough to complete the walls Let's get it on. And there you go. Some protection, at least. Although if it rains, I'm going to get wet. And there's no door. But we'll come back to that in a second. Well, I'm dehydrated. See, look, all this work and no thinking about my resources and I'm getting hungry as well. Now, water's not a problem. Just take a dip. That's fine. Now, food, on the other hand, is a different issue. But I have got lots of um, berries which I can chomp on, so I'll do that. fine for now and I've got so many of them that's fine right so next thing the roof I need to build so I'm lacking wood 
basically wood is what I need here. I should really build um, an axe. Which will help me gather the wood better. Stone hatchet, that's exactly what I'm after. Okay, let's go chop down some trees. So different tools will give you different items. So the hatchet will give me the wood that I need. It's pretty good. Right, encumbered. So let's start creating some of the roof. I'll need four of those. I should drop some stuff. What am I doing for food? Not too bad. Um, what's weighing me down the most here is the wood and the stones. So I'll split those in half. And I'll drop some of those. And then pick those up again. I'm still moving quite slowly, but hopefully once I've built my roof, should be fine. Right. Okay, and there we have it. Obviously it's going to be a bit dark in here, so I'll need to build some other stuff. And a front door would be pretty good as well. What do I need for that? Okay, I need some more thatch. I can get from chopping down some more trees but this area seems to be quite barren I've kind of chopped down a lot already okay I'm using the wrong tool here for the job should be using that if I want to get the thatch And we have one door. Okay. Now I do need to build myself. A campfire. Excellent. So now I've got some light in here at night time and some heat and I'm able to use that to cook any raw meat that I may gather. So let's think about what I need to um, build next. Cloth shirt would be quite handy. 
I need lots more fiber. more to my weight quite useful all right so I've got a lot of points here now I'm still not in that zone but I think actually a club would be quite useful for knocking out creatures which you can then tame them once you've knocked them out and you can see here there's quite a lot of stuff I'm not even going to go there just yet. So I still need more fiber for this shirt. enough now a shield would be quite useful and some shoes but I need more fiber and more Hide, so I need to get um, the shield, I think, first. Which requires some hide, which I don't have. So I think I've kind of reached the point now where I start, I need to start hunting. So let me um, put that. Okay then, time to go hunting. Now hunting is extremely dangerous for my character. Um, I could suddenly just be killed if I choose my um, target incorrectly. So from experience, I know what type of creatures I should be going for. And here's one that should be um, pretty straightforward to take down. But you'll try and run away. Again, I've modified the game to make it easier. Right, that's given me loads of hide and loads of meat. So probably more than enough now where I won't need to bother killing any other enemies for some time. Oh, I'm being attacked. Look at these little scum. Where did they come from? Damn it! Right. Whew. Where was I? I was going to craft some... The shield, wasn't I? Which I should now have enough. Okay, my attack abilities have now increased dramatically. So as you can see there, he's just taken off. It's no good. For good, that's fine. 
I didn't really need to attack him. I'm getting a bit first thirsty and hungry. We'll just take a dip. Watch out for the local fish. They tend to have a nasty bite. Right. So let's get fully clothed here. I need some shoes. That's what I really need first. So I need more fiber for the shoes. And um Yeah, I just basically need a lot more fiber. If I go and hunt for that. It shouldn't be too problematic. Now, items do perish over time. So you may have noticed I picked up a lot of um, raw meat from the uh, dinosaur that I killed. So I can use that to feed myself, which I'll do now without actually cooking it. Oh, my health is decreasing. Not good. I can create um, crates which enable me to store stuff, but I think things like meat will still deteriorate. So, can I light this fire? Do I have enough raw materials? So, if I split that in half, put that in and get the raw meat, start that cooking. So that raw meat will now be cooking while I go about my business getting the um, fibers. Right, so I'm basically carrying way too much stuff here. Um, let's chop this wood. Got loads of hide. I don't really need all that meat, so I can chop that. If I, but it's not really weighing me down much. Um, I think it's this wood. I can always get more. I thought I'll just drop the rocks. Right, that's better. So I've got a nice amount of fibre now. That's good. I should be able to craft the gloves and the boots. And the slingshot. Okay, I'm fully clothed now, which is cool. Um, obviously, this is the most basic of gear. Um, you can upgrade to get much better gear eventually. Well, I'm encumbered now picking up that stone again. So, I mean, I'm pretty much now back to where I was before. I um, lost everything. And I've done it in a fraction of the time due to tweaking those options. So, what's next? Well, I think now, for any would-be hunter-gatherer, I should try and attempt to uh, tame an animal, I guess. That's the next thing. Although, let me have a quick look at my engram point and what I can potentially build. Or learn, at least. I don't need any of that. I need to make a chair. Compass, spyglass. Right, these saddles I will need eventually if I'm going to um, tame a creature.
increases your health but puts you to sleep. Um, I think I'm going to come back to here once I know what I'm doing a bit more. Right, so let's see if we can um, drop some of the stone that's weighing me down again. I can always grab some more stone. Okay, let's see what happens. This could be dangerous. So basically I want to KO the creature. I don't want to kill it. And he's off. Okay, he's unconscious. Put food in inventory to tame. So what kind of food? I have no idea what kind of food that um, this creature will like, so let me just try something. I'll do it by trial and error, I guess. Oh, he's waking up. Oh, it's taming. He's taming. We're doing it. We need to keep adding stuff to his um, inventory. Hopefully this will do the job. Yeah, it's all right, buddy. Don't you worry. I might have to knock you out again in a second if you... Oh, the taming's going down. I mean, I'm giving a lot of stuff here. Well, it's going up a little bit. I'm not sure what else I can give him. Let me go and grab some more stuff. I'm assuming giving him kind of fruit and veg that is what he's after because he's not a meat-eating animal. I, I suppose I could try and give him some raw meat, but I don't think that would uh, be very good. Let's give that a try, though. Let's see what happens if we do. He's got loads of stuff here. Oh, it's going up. Come on. Come to Papa. So he's not hungry. So those... So basically, I think that's just... Um, he's not over-encumbered. And his health's not too bad. I'm not sure there's anything else I can be doing to speed the process up. So basically he's lying down and he's chomping on the food that I've given him. So let's just leave him now. I think he should be okay. I've probably given him too much stuff. So what is this? This is a, a parasaur. So really what I should be doing is looking at what I can um, build a parasaur. Let's have a look. At my saddles that I can create. I want one that's a parasaur saddle. There you go. Right there. Perfect. Now let's make one.
I will need more hide. Oh my gosh. More hide. Which means I'm going to have to kill another creature to grab that hide. First things first, though, let me repair my weapon. Definitely not going for him there. And it's raining. Great. So if I can find another one of those, that'll make an easy kill. I can then use the hide from that. Yeah, he's, he's getting tame. Oh no, it's nightfall. It's not what I needed right now, but hopefully it'll be over very quickly. I daren't attack these uh, Triceratops. I know how deadly they can be. Come on, he's almost there. Come on. You can do it. That's a boy. That a boy. Almost tamed. Again, in the options, I've sped up the process. Soon you will be mine. All right, you should be tamed now. Come on, that's it. All righty then. You have tamed a parasaur. Okay. Name my... Right. Nothing to do with Tom Petty there. Okay, here we go. So what can I do? Equip a saddle to ride. Or I can give him all of these options as well now. So let's go and hunt for another creature that I can... So he's basically going to be following me around now. He's quite cool. One thing I didn't... Um, check on was my meat that was being cooked in the house. I should be able to grab that now. Some of it's gone off, unfortunately. I can eat some of that now because I'm getting quite hungry. All right. So... Can I tell Tom to wait here and keep guard of the house? Oh, he's just done a big poo. Nice. Oh, I don't want to... No. Sorry. Right, what I want him to do is to... But I hope he doesn't just wander off into the unknown and... I'll never find him again. So Tom, you stay there. I need to hunt, but now it's too dark. So maybe I'll just pet my uh, new pet here, Tom. It's cool. So that's giving me a, a breakdown of his stats. He's got good health. He's got stamina, he's, he's not hungry, so that's quite cool. He's doing okay. Seems like the um, beach here has become devoid of any other animals and creatures, unfortunately. I mean, there's a huge Brontosaurus over there, but I don't think I'm well equipped to uh, take him on. He'd probably just crush me underfoot. Yeah, I know it's cold, but I'm hungry and I need some resources for my... New friend. It's the only friend I've got here. All right, let's attempt to... Um, now, this could all go horribly wrong, and I could suddenly get killed. But let's try anyway. 
He's unconscious. God, we want to kill him, so... Right, we've killed him. That's it. Not bad. So now I should hopefully be able to craft my um, saddle. I'm a bit over encumbered here, carrying way too much gear. Right, where's um Tom? Oh, Tom's still by the house, that's good. I think that's Tom. I hope that's Tom. It's a bit dark to see who, who it is. Yeah, Tom's still there. That's great. Okay, so I will now become the master of all he surveys with my tamed beast. Tom the Tamed. Equip saddle to ride. So how do I do that? Okay then. Yep, he's got it. So how do I ride him? Oh, I see. I'm putting it in the wrong box. Silly me. Over there. Equip the saddle. All righty then. All right. Now we're talking. Woo. Look at that. So our chances of survival have now increased considerably. Ain't that right, Tom? So I think, you know, we've made some good progress here. And um, I've managed to do that in, what, 40 minutes? But obviously it's taken a while to level up my character. I'm not sure how many animals you can tame at any one time. But there's no need to um, become aggressive. Speed him up, that's better. Right, so I can now go and investigate. Let's see what this um, light beacon is all about. Interesting. So that's quite cool that I've never sort of ventured away from my humble abode until now. I've now got a bit more confidence with Tom by my side. I can sort of um, wander around a bit more and explore the island. So I'm not sure if you've seen any of the trailers or other footage, but you'll notice that the other kind of environments, um, snowy ice kind of environments as well as this kind of tropical now in an earlier game I did get 
completely devoured by a crocodile, an oversized crocodile type creature, um, which wasn't very pleasant. So I'm going to have to be pretty careful where I'm wandering off. I'm, I'm not sure what the defence capability of this particular creature is. Um, I have been attacked by raptors as well. And obviously there'll be creatures like um, T-Rexes wandering around as well to be mindful of. I think we've ventured pretty far now. I should really head back to base, take stock of what I'm doing. I should really ex explore my near vicinity rather than... Oh, it looks like um, Tom's getting hungry. Oh, something's happened. We're being attacked by... Stomp on them. get down and help you out here. I don't want to hit him by mistake. He's going for the kill. That's enough. They're dead. They're dead. Or well, maybe not. They're still alive. Now they're dead. Let's get the hell out of here. Go, go, go. I mean, that music is a bit overly dramatic for those tiny creatures. They're not exactly posing much of a threat. Nibbling at my heels. I mean, I'm not sure what that beacon is over there. Let's have a look. Supply crate. And then just to give you a bit of scale. He's a giant. I wonder if you can tame this creature. I think you probably can. You can also build your mobile homes on these creatures. So you've got to kind of... Which just sounds crazy, but it's true. There's quite a lot you can do in this game. So, now that I've been playing it for... Well, in this video, for almost 50 minutes, I think I've given you a good taste of some of the very basic stuff you can do in this game. As I said earlier, you can play on the multiplayer servers, of which you then have to contend with uh, other human players. Or you can um, team up with them and fight against the enemies, or you can um, fight against each other. get the spoils drag that body around and I've leveled up again so I think Tom and 
Tom and me, are we going to be friends for life here? I mean, he's pretty cool. I'm, I'm happy with Tom. He might not be the most aggressive. He's got bad breath. He looks like a duck. But he's still a nice uh, dinosaur to have. So I think I've given you a good idea of what you can expect from the introductory moments of the game. I mean, there's our home over there. Let's call that home. Some of our food is uh, becoming uh, rotten. It's good to see that Tom's got his own oxygen meter. And we're home at last. Obviously, this is a very simple structure that I built. You could be a lot more um, imaginative. Let's dismount. And then I think Tom's okay. He's not carrying too much. Yeah, he's all good. So let's go inside. <laughs> Really need to get rid of some of this spoiled meat. So I'm not sure if I can use the spoiled meat on them, Tom. Maybe he will enjoy eating that. Let's get this fire going. Okay, well I think that's that's all I'm gonna show you for now. As I said, it's on Xbox One preview at the moment. Um, so if you want to try it out for about 30 pounds or 34 dollars um then yeah give it a whirl obviously they'll add a lot more as the game gets closer to release but um for now it's uh yeah it's a, it's a neat game uh, i've enjoyed it so far i mean it's a bit slow paced it does take a long time to get anywhere and thankfully i've sped things up by uh, tweaking those options which if i'd have done first time would have saved a bit of time but um yeah, it's, it's cool. Okay, I'm Rob Cram. You've been watching Ark Survival Evolved on Xbox One. And I'll see you later.